friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued love and support. If you're not aware, my name is Fee and together with my family of four, we moved here to the Netherlands from the United States. And I just love talking about the differences between the two countries, the cultural shocks that I've experienced, as well as just sharing our adventures here in the Netherlands. So quick question for you guys. Which group seems more relaxed when you think of Americans and the Dutch? Is one nationality more strict and uptight about certain things? And is the other one more chilled out and relaxed? I don't know, for me, it's a toss up and it depends on what you're talking about specifically. Both the Dutch and Americans can be relaxed depending on the context, but in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five things that the Dutch are more relaxed about than Americans. So you guys know how we do it here. Go ahead and get comfortable, get yourself your favorite snack, and we'll get right into it. <laughs> Okay, let's kick it off with number one, and that's nudity on television. Now I have to say guys, this one has quite shocked me, and it's not because I'm a prude, or at least I don't consider myself prude, but we have definitely noticed that nudity and just showing certain body parts on Dutch television is definitely more prevalent than it is in United States. If you wanna see any form of nudity on American TV, you're gonna have to turn on Showtime or HBO. Even late night television won't show certain body parts like breasts. It's just really not acceptable. Cable channels might show racier content, but that wouldn't air until after 9 p.m. or even much later. And even with that, it would be nowhere as racy as the Dutch commercials or TV shows. What really initially surprised me is how Dutch commercials are way more suggestive than the commercials in the United States. You know, a naked butt at 5 p.m. isn't anything to bat an eye at or be shocked about. And I don't know if Americans seem less relaxed about this because because nudity isn't something that we're used to. But I see that here in the Netherlands, people aren't really offended by their bodies and they shouldn't be. It's just normal here to see nudity on TV. Maybe it'll be normal as well in the US. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Okay, next is interracial couples. The US has no shortage of racists behaving badly and the past couple years has made this abundantly clear. In some parts of the country, people still believe that different ethnicities should not mix. And this is in 2023, and they believe that interracial couples are inherently bad. And you know, you really won't see interracial couples in certain areas of the US. And there was actually a poll done by Gallup, Minority Rights and Relations, that claimed that 13% of Americans do not approve of interracial marriage. And just to contrast that with the results from 95, where 48% of Americans believe that interracial marriages should not exist. So I guess we're moving in the right direction, but really 13% still believe that interracial marriages are not okay. Now, while I don't have the data for here in the Netherlands, I still believe that that 13% would be much lower here. I feel like it's pretty commonplace to see interracial couples here in the Netherlands, and everyone seems to be okay with it, at least publicly. Generally speaking, the Dutch seem to be more accepting of people who look different overall. Again, that's obviously not all across the board, but I feel like the Dutch are at least more publicly tolerant and less vocal about any issues with interracial couples. But when it's all said and done, we're all people, we should be able to marry and date whoever we want. I think that 13% needs to get with the century and get with the program because that number should be zero. Okay, number three is customer service in the the Netherlands. Customer service isn't entirely customer centric here in the Netherlands. And if you come from the land of the customer is always right, getting things resolved from the Dutch perspective might be frustrating at first, especially if you expect things to be resolved easily. And you know, you get used to it and you adapt, but it might surprise you at first. And you know, something that caught me by surprise here in the Netherlands, and it still does, is that customer service numbers here are toll numbers, which means that you pay when you make the call, which may act as a deterrent for people because you wouldn't want to pay so you don't make the call, right? So while I can't say that the Dutch are okay with subpar service, they've just come to accept it because that's how things are. And I don't know if acceptance is the same as relaxed, but it seems that people here will just shrug and move on if stores don't go above and beyond. Okay, next up with number four is eating dessert. When I'm back in the US, I feel like the American culture makes a huge deal out of eating dessert 
and can almost make it seem like it's shameful. Like it's a bad thing to have something sweet at the end of a meal. And yeah, it depends on the social group and the context. I feel like most of the time, dessert is not even an option at US restaurants because we're so full by the time a dessert menu is presented to us. Thinking about eating one more morsel at that point can make you feel queasy. But when Americans still have room and want dessert, especially women, you'll hear them say stuff like, oh, I'm gonna be bad and get some cheesecake today. Or maybe, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a cheesecake and share it with a table. I mean, there's so much guilt about having dessert in the United States that we can't be anything but uptight about it. But let's look at the Netherlands. What about the Dutch? I feel like anytime I've gone out for a meal with any of my Dutch friends, you know, they'll always order dessert. And I'm not saying that they're gorging themselves with pastries and cake and ice cream and cookies 24 seven, because that is not the case by any means. But I feel like when the Dutch go out to eat or when they're hosting a dinner at their house, dessert is always offered. And most of the time it's eaten and savored. And even when eaten at home, it can be as simple as fresh fruit or yogurt. And it just seems like most meals here in the Netherlands end with some dessert option, just as normal as having a beverage to drink. And just a few things to note in the Netherlands, dessert portions are small. You know, a small triangle of fruit tart or cake. Not like what we have in the US that's a size of a brick and a thousand calorie bomb from the Cheesecake Factory. Normally with the Dutch meals, you usually have room for dessert because the portions of dinner or lunch are not huge. So I've definitely noticed with the Dutch, there's no shaming mentality. Food is to be enjoyed in moderation, of course. And finally, taking time off from work and using your vacation time. I find that the Dutch are so relaxed and chilled about their time off of work, and that's because they have so much of it. Most Dutch employees have almost a month of paid vacation within a year, and they're encouraged to use it. And some people have even more than a month off with five to six weeks off in a year. So you can take two to three weeks off in the summer, in July and August, and it's expected. I mean telling your boss in the US that you want to take two to three weeks off in the summer will probably place you in the performance improvement plan. I feel like employees in the US in general stress when they have to take their vacation days. I mean, I've been there as well. And that's because the demands of the job is really high. I mean, depending on the industry. But here in the Netherlands, taking your vacation time is a right. It's not a park. And people make using that time off a priority. The work-life balance here in the Netherlands is just so much more prioritized. Unlike in the US, my friends and I always used to joke around and say that if a job posting lists that they have a good work-life balance, then that means that they don't because a lot of US companies do not value a work-life balance. It's funny because a couple weeks ago, one of my Dutch friends told me that she took the Friday off of work to run some errands and my natural response was, are you sure that's okay? Aren't you gonna get in trouble? And she basically was like, no, no, it's my time. I can manage it how I want. And that had me pleasantly surprised because using your vacation time here in the Netherlands is not a problem and I love that. Now one thing I want to mention guys is that the US is a big country with a lot of people and it's quite diverse. So of course, not all Americans are one way. Just like all Dutch people won't be relaxed with all the things that I mentioned here. This is just my experience and I feel like I need to put this disclaimer. And generally speaking, I feel like these attitudes hold true. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please let me know in the comment section what are the things you believe the Dutch are more relaxed about. Please be sure to come back because I'm going to be reacting to Dutch commercials that would never air on American TV. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, doo doo!